Russian Rascals. Uh. What is up, subs and grubs? My name is Jack Cypher, and today on Russian Rascals, we're going to be taking a look at the RHM Evil Burrito straight into the video. Now, we're not really going to be talking about the tank per se, but more about the guns on the tank. So, we can mount either a 128mm cannon, or we can mount a 150 millimeter cannon. So today we're gonna do some live gameplay and talk about the differences between those two guns What you should run what I like better and all that fun little jazz in between now make sure Do you remember if you do like this kind of content make sure to hit that like button smash subscribe hit us up in the comments below Any link to this channel you'd ever need of course is in the description below onto the video Wow you have to be wondering how much Monster someone has to be drinking to hit that to do that intro this it's insane even for me to believe. Alright, so first game up, we're going to be running with the 128mm uh, gun that we have on this tank. And I will say, just straight up, this is my favorite gun on the tank. There's no easy way around it. Uh, this gun is more accurate than the 150. It has more penetration than the 150. It has better shell velocity than the 150. It has better rotation speed than the 150. How much more, how much better do you want this tank to be with this gun? I mean, seriously. Now, do keep in mind today, teams are absolute monkeys, so it's been a pain just to try and record a video. So, hopefully, we're going to get a team that knows what they're doing. Now, I will say, I believe the 150 cannon does carry that bigger HE penetration, which is understandable for a tank of such caliber. Can we hit the shot? Lovely, nice shot right around there. And, oh, hello, my friends. Now this tank, this gun, of course, also has the better reload, which is also better. I think he's right there. No dunking that shell into the snow. Sad, 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 but oh well. We should be able to come out on top of this situation just for the fact that we do have plenty of teammates with us. Going to put a sh nice bounce into the front of the Tiger P. That is why you do not rush your shots, ladies and gentlemen. For the next shot, we're going to try and put a nice HE into the, into the front of this AMX. 1390 nice 510 roll the gun on this thing is absolutely amazing with the alpha that you do get off of these shots It's just absolutely a blast to play now this AMX might be coming around on us But right now I'm not too worried. I want to get a shot on the Tiger P 455 into the side of this turret and we're already at 1500 damage done now We might be able to remove this AMX from the game in a quick moment if he does make the poor decision to sit there in which we can easily remove him from the game without even really thinking about it so as you can tell unless the team pulls off this miracle play we have basically won it already now that is a bold statement but if you just look at how many people are left on each team you can say that we've won with confidence VK gonna be pulling up on us gonna snap a shot into him drop a drum and see if we can farm our way up to 2k and as he does track me I do not get damaged at all. We're gonna see if we can put a shot into that cupola right there with that lovely accuracy that we do have, breaking that 2k number. Now they do have that RHM in the back, so I'm actually not wanting to lose more HP. I'll let the Tiger 1 get the last fi finishing shot into him. Come on, Tiger, I know you can do it. Uh, no, he cannot. All right, so we are going to just come around and give this guy a little boop. If we are able to, no, but we are able to give that guy a little boop. Bouncing him on the side of his tank. Not sure what is up with that, but all's well that ends well. We're able to get him out of here in a second. Jeez Louise. Can I go for the HE? Uh, yeah, that shot did not go where we wanted it to. You will fluke shots here and there, but don't count on missing. Real, I, I'll, I'll say that. Don't count on missing in this tank. It's not an often thing that you do. If you do, make sure to aim that shot well and good. Uh, RHM, do you want to poke for me? Do you want to poke for me, little buddy? Just come on and pull right out on here. I won't hurt you none. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be able to put a shot into him at all. He, those guys back there are taking him out already. Tiger 2, Tiger 1 is going to be able to take him out. And that is our first victory. So that is the 128 millimeter gun. A very reliable gun. Jack did nub it a bit. So, yeah. But yeah, you can see how effective this truly is. Thank you, Tiger1, for being such a good teammate. But now we are going to go on to what I am not exactly excited for. And that is the 100mm cannon. 
we're going to adjust our load out just a smidgen both guns carry the exact same amount of ammo so no need to worry about what you're going to carry just do 25 and 5 and you will never need to worry about um, not having enough ammo I guess but anyways what is this gun all about well with a 640 alpha a terrible aiming time terrible dispersion uh, terrible aim circle decent penetration yeah, this tank's a derp. This is an absolute derp. <laughs> There's no way around it. It's it's fun. Uh, when our team Sting runs tournaments, we always run... Uh, always. What are you saying, Jack? We like to run dual RHMs uh, sometimes, and it, it does work. I will say, this, this tank... This tank really does work. But anyways, sorry, brain was going, going out for a second there. Anyways... So we are sitting in the middle of desert sands just to figure out we want to get a feel for the map See where the enemy team is pushing and once we figure that out We can either push to the left where no mediums are type 59 is not going to be spotting for us. So Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what he's doing right now uh, Looks like a lot of their team went that way. Can I put a shot into one of them? Oh That is the joy of playing this tank absolutely hilarious when you are able to get hilarious snaps like that eagle might be crossing for us so i will i'm gonna try and pull back just to see if we can get the shot ah oh, dang it dang it dang it jack why did you do that i knew i was not going to be able to hit that shot the moment i fired it it's it's trigger finger it's very it's bad bad trigger control and that was we were expecting him to keep pulling forward. He did not pull forward. Therefore we shot in front of him Not the best things, but what can you do? Anyways, we are going to pull up on the Eagle 7 see if we can remove a bunch of his HP monies and hopefully uh, Get him out of this game Eagle 7 just took a big chunk of HP and we're gonna remove him right on out of here with a 300 roll uh, 914 not doing as well as the best game reload of 15.2 seconds also not good that this reload absolutely drives me nuts we're gonna load he and get him on out of here drop adrenaline now do make sure when you are fighting other rhms that you are very careful of your surroundings because they can max roll you and one shot you very 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 easily Hopefully going to get one more shot in this game. I honestly have no clue. Yeah, we're not e we're not even going to break a thousand damage, which is fine by me. Disappointing, but you were able to... No way! Hey, I forgot about that fire. We did break a thousand damage. Nothing's, nothing at all amazing. You did good, buddy. Anyways, so that is the 150mm cannon. Both guns are fun. Definitely fun. 120 it's more reliable. 150 is kind of funnier. So it's all based on your perspective, what you like doing better. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Tell me what you decide. I definitely know what Death by Ducky and Ducky Mama are going to tell me. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video today. One and all, ladies and gentlemen, subs and grubs and all you mothers goats in between. My name is Jack Saffron. Today on Russian Rascals, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.